Go. Hello there, my name's Kyle. I'm from Benjamin Knife Company out of Oregon City, Oregon. We're an American-made brand. Um, and uh, you can find our product at Benjamin.com. If you're looking to find some of our product or some dealers that could be close to you, you could look at Blade HQ, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, uh, DLT Trading, and many more. You can find some of these dealers by uh, going to our website, Benjamin.com. Go to find a local dealer, and you can find the closest one to you from there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and expand on some of our new products that we've got to offer this year. So the first is our new Adamus Refresh. So these are knives that were designed by Shane Seibert and produced by us. We used to have older variants of these and we've come back with a better material. We got CPM Crewwear Steel. We've went ahead and uh, made some different changes to from the fixed blade to the auto to the manual full size and then our manual mini. All right. So from there, yeah, this is a, uh, right here, this is a auto axis knife right here. So this is really nice because it's ambidextrous. You can have it on, open it from either side. You can flip the clip. If you wanted it to be a, a left hand carry knife to deploy it, you just pull back on that. There's a lock back here. You can lock it in place when it's open or when it's closed, lock it like that. Simple as that. If you're so a- That's tension mounted when you release it. it yeah. Okay. Yep, exactly. Now this is uh, the manual version of this knife. This comes in uh, quite a few different variants, depending on the color that you're looking for, the blade stop, if you want it serrated or not. Um, yeah, this has been a very popular knife. What would this, the different steels be that you mainly use for these types of knives? For all of these, these are all CPM crew wear. We originally used D2 steel for the Adamas's originally, but yeah, we've upgraded them to CPM crew wear. It's much better steel. Um, yeah, it does great work. This is our new Mini Adamas. It's been an immediate hit. Been very popular. This comes in two different colorways. This has got the tungsten gray. There's another with flat earth. Yep. And this is a simple manual knife. Very small, great. Fits in the hand very well. Um, it's very comfortable to carry. It's got a lot of weight to the blade. And although it might be a thicker knife that'd be great for prying, it's still thin enough to where you can get a really great edge on it. It's a beautiful knife and it's been really popular with our community. So moving on, we'll, we'll check out, we have our new Mini Osborns. Now we have both the G10 version, it's offered in a coated blade, and we also have the aluminum offered with a satin blade. Now these are both with S30V, and they come in at 2.92 inches, right under three inches, which is great an idea. It's a great compact carry knife, and it's uh, obviously finds its inspiration yes. from the original 940. Okay. Now if you're- You felt like the market needed you to downsize a little bit? Yeah, just have a little bit more of a, a compact carry option for, you know, for some of those places where it does need to be a smaller blade like It has to be under three inches. Okay. Or for those that just want a light little knife that they can take on a jog or take fishing, keep on their, keep on their overalls or something like that. Um, and just to expand on, this is one of my favorite push button autos. This is the 9400 Osborne. Whoa. Yeah, push button automatic. This is the BK version. There's a lock back here. Lock it in place. Keeps it from opening. Unlock, deploy. Yes. One of my favorite autos for sure. Really snappy knife. Oh, and then the, oh, did you have a question? No, I was just, I'm just excited about what's going on. Oh yeah. Because we have this very utilitarian tactical kind of a look. Yeah. And then we actually start to move into a little bit of, a uh, little bit more artisan. Yeah. Kind of like a look, so I'm excited to see what else is going on. Oh yeah. Moving on, we got the, uh, the Autofact, which is a new Axis Auto This is knife. just gorgeous, I've got to tell you. Yeah, me, it's a beautiful knife. Same thing, it's Auto Axis. You can open it using it from either side, flip the clip, suit it to you, take off the clip, keep it in a pocket, take it to church, whatever you want to do. But there's a lock back here on the back of the spine. Lock it, unlock it, pull back on the Axis Auto and deploy it. And this I comes love that as that's a auto. oh yeah snaps. This has got an S90V blade, so it's going to maintain that edge for, a, for quite a now while. I see the word prototype on the back. Is this available currently on the website? Yeah, this is currently currently available. It was released about a month ago. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. So for those who don't know, who've never even looked at the Benchmade brand, what would you say the price point for is? this knife is? For any of these knives. Okay. So um, like, there's some people who don't know whether they're a $300 knife, a $60 yeah. knife, or a $500 knife. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Um, so for some of these, I can go ahead and let you know that the 275 is going to be, uh, or the, sorry about that, the 2750 is at 360. The 275 is going to be around 280. 273 is the MSRP at 250. And then either of the uh, mini Osborns are going to be 205, okay. whether you go with aluminum or you go with the G10. And then this the, puppy back here, I gotta know. The, the, the one behind it, yeah. Oh, this one right here? This will be 400 MSRP. I, 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 I get it. Yeah, it's, a, it's a classy knife. It's beautiful with the carbon fiber inlay in there. It's it a great looking knife. It's a little knife. bit of an executive look, even though it's very utilitarian. But oh, yeah. yeah. And it was, inspired, uh, it was inspired from the kind of Italian stiletto style of knives. Gives it a really classy look. It's got some great action to it. It's a beautiful right, knife. Because I need to ship a square ice cube for my whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you know, we've had in the past, we've had, we, so we had our we had our bug outs, our different variations of the of the bug out. Right. Started with the blue and the gray, and this year we did the 535-3 bug out. All right. And what is the material for this handle? For this handle right here? Yep. This is gonna. This is carbon fiber. Okay, that's what I thought. Yep, and uh, the, so these blade steels are S30B. We upgraded this to S90B. It's gonna have, like I said, a little bit longer edge retention. And it's great. I mean, it's a beautiful knife. We have, see on the past ones, we've had these like barrel spacers. You can see. Yep, absolutely. On this one, you have this kind of a pommel back here spacer. Okay. And it's a beautiful knife. It's carbon. This is actually my personal care. I really enjoy this lanyard like oh, yeah. on the back as well. Just made differently with it. I mean, a lot of times you do see the standard kind of a hole. Yeah. But that's a unique look. It's a little bit bigger too to accommodate different things. Yeah. Yeah, and it comes with the you know the mini deep carry. It just disappears into your pocket. Super lightweight. Um, it's a beautiful knife. So how long has Bitch Made been coming to the show? Um, over 30 years. Oh, so, wow. yeah, it's been a while, but... Um, Obviously, it's a great show for you. It's a great show. It's, yeah, it's tremendous. It's pretty amazing to just see that, you know, everyone that comes out here and is excited to see, it, you know, what we have to bring. Well, I know that everyone appreciates you being here to show off this amazing product. Yeah. I well, definitely appreciate it. Today was fun to check out all of this new stuff. It was definitely not a dull moment. Thanks for checking in with us, guys, and good luck to you at the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.